check out the new ClickSense Masterclass which is out right now. A step-by-step -step learning program that's going to help you to get to the next level. It's got rave reviews and people are absolutely loving it. So don't miss out the chance, enroll yourself now. Hey guys and welcome back. I got a question about when do we use qualify as our um, function. So I thought, yep, when I look into it, right? Because um, it might help somebody else as well. So how do you use qualify and what does it do actually? Essentially what qualify does is it takes your field name and it adds a prefix and it the prefix is nothing but your table name. So in this case, I have my table name as customers. And if I say qualify, then it's going to add the table name customers to all of my fields. Now, why is this important? Because, well, let's say that you have multiple calendars for your order date, your ship date, your wanted delivery date and stuff. So you have calendars which has the same thing like month, month, year, um, year, month and calendar date. So your calendar is essentially the same, right? And what would happen if you run it? Well, um, you would get one of those crazy ass loops. So the best way to get rid of it is to actually change each of the names of each table or all the fields to, well, your wanted delivery date calendar, your planned delivery date calendar, so on and so forth, right? Um, and it's actually a little cumbersome to do that by by hand so for each field so we have a lot of fields here what we can do is just automatically just super simple just write qualify and you could write the name of the field that you want qualified so i could say hey qualify the name city essentially it's going to add a prefix called customers because that's my table name to the field called city so over here it's going to be essentially as customers dot city but without me having to do this because qualify does that automatically pretty cool right so if i have a table with a lot of names that i want to be yeah changed for some reason just to avoid loops and synthetic keys and so on well i could just use qualify and instead of using a field name you could also just say star what does this do well it essentially changes the name for all of them so now if i look at my data model so we see here that i have orders table i have customers table and these are the names great what would happen if i do qualify so let's let's just try that out if i look at it each of the table or each of the fields have a prefix and the prefix always starts with order so now there is no connection because well the names of my fields aren't the same so there is no none of them are keys so how do i change that well let's say that i want we saw before that you could say qualify and one particular field and only that field would get qualified you could also use something called unqualify for example here i'll say qualify all but unqualify the field called customer id why because well customer id is one of my keys and i want that just to be customer ID here so that I can connect it to my orders table, right? So I'll say unqualify customer ID. Let's load this. Now we see that just that particular field has been unqualified. So the name is just as it is when we load it and the rest of them have a prefix of the table name. And so now I have these two connections. Great. Now here I have product ID. Here we have employees and we want employee key to be connected to employee key. So let's unqualify that as well. Let's run it. Great. Now all my main keys have been unqualified and the rest of them are qualified. So there's not going to be any other connection here except the fields that I actually want. That's great. But one final thing before you leave, just remember, and this has happened to me, like it's I've taken like so much of time to figure out why what's happening later on so for example if i do an exist or if i do for example a uh, left keep here left keep orders and i'm doing a left keep of my orders table with order id just remember that this is not order id anymore because this field name has changed and what is the field name well the field name is actually orders dot order id if you see here it's going to be orders dot order id so for future reference, all the columns here will also keep getting qualified because we have a qualify star here. 
Just remember that once you, if you use qualify and a star instead of using a field name, in the end, you're saying that, hey, from now on, this qualify, I don't want it to be, um, I don't want it to be active again. So from now on, make sure that the qualify statement that I mentioned before is taken away. So write a unqualify in the end. So essentially, qualify is a super simple way to rename all your fields and um, prefix it with your table name just so that you don't get um, some kind of so, so you have basically unique field names. That was it. Super simple. Check out the course and the link in the description below. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff there. So check it out and uh, please like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Cheers.